Um, of course, Christine Hamilton, briefly, all of the high-profile socialists like Diane Abbott normally wind up sending their kids to private school. If you had children, would you send them to private school or put them through the state sector? Uh, well, if, if we had children, they would by now be um, probably 45 or 50. So, yes, I definitely, I definitely would if I could possibly have afforded it. But people make huge sacrifices. One thing I do want to add is that I think the figure is right, but one of the experts will correct me if I'm wrong, that about 34% of pupils at private schools receive some or all help with bursaries. So they're not all having to pay these astronomical free <laughs> fees. And if I can mention one private school um, a, a product who's in the news a lot is Rishi Sunak. He recently donated £100,000 to his school, Winchester, to help people who couldn't afford the fees. So it isn't everybody there who's paying the top-notch fees. OK, well, briefly, final thoughts on this, Professor James Tooley. Yes, it's not... The, the disruption is definitely a problem, and I totally agree with that. But it's not the selection that leads to a lack of disruption in, in, your, in the private schools. It is the fact that parents are committed and they want their children to do well. There's the accountability through, through parents. So forget the selection. It's the accountability that, that's, that's so important. But I, and, and I'm sure, I'm sure the £250,000, if you were going to give up your life now as in, in, in the trajectory you're in, you, you, would, you would not want that. You would not want £250,000 instead of that trajectory, I'm sure.